an old man was sitting on a bench in the park one day, telling stories to the children gathered around him. him. He had a twinkle in his eye and a mischievous grin on his face as he began to tell the tale of a young boy named Jack Jack. He told of how Jack had stumbled across a strange old man who had promised him something magical in exchange for a few simple items. The old man's story captivated the children, and they hung on his every word. Jack was intrigued by the old man's story, and he was curious to know more. He asked the old man what the beans were and why they were so special. The old man smiled and said that these were no ordinary beans, but magical beans that could bring him great fortune. Jack was astonished and couldn't believe his luck. He was eager to find out what the old man meant by great fortune and asked him to explain further. The old man replied that if Jack planted the beans in the ground, a giant beanstalk would grow overnight that would lead him to a land of great wealth that could grow overnight that would lead him to a land of great wealth. Jack was in awe as he watched the garden transform before his eyes. The once barren and neglected land was now lush and vibrant. As he looked around, he spotted a small figure standing in the center of the garden, waving a wand in a circular motion. Suddenly, a brilliant light filled the garden and the figure revealed itself to be a fairy who had come to grant Jack's wish of bringing the garden back to life who had come to grant Jack's wish of bringing the garden back to life. She smiled at him and explained that her magical powers had turned the garden into a beautiful paradise. Jack was filled with joy and could not believe what he was seeing. He thanked the fairy for her generous gift and thanked her for granting his wish. Jack was overwhelmed with joy as he watched the garden transform before his eyes. He had never seen anything like it and couldn't believe the power of the magic he had just witnessed. Every flower and blade of grass seemed to be in perfect harmony and the colors were so vibrant and alive. He had a feeling of peace and contentment knowing that he had been part of something so special. He couldn't wait to tell his family and friends about the incredible transformation he had seen. Jack's curiosity was piqued as the old man continued his story. He explained that the beans he had were magic and could be planted in the ground to grow a giant beanstalk that reached the clouds. Jack was amazed to hear this and asked the old man if he could have some of the beans. The old man smiled and handed Jack a handful of the beans, telling him that if he planted them in the ground and watered them with his tears, he would have a beanstalk that could take him to a place of great wealth and adventure. Jack was filled with excitement at the thought of owning the magic beans. He was eager to get home and plant them so he could see what would happen. He was certain that something amazing would happen, and he was eager to find out what it was. He thanked the old man for his generosity and ran home as fast as he could, clutching the beans tightly in his hands' hands. He couldn't wait to see what would happen when he planted them. Jack was filled with anticipation as he made his preparations for the next day. He gathered the items that the old man had asked for in exchange for the magical beans and made sure he had everything he needed for his journey. He took extra care to ensure that he had enough food and water for the journey, as well as some tools to help him along the way. He was determined to make the most of his adventure and make sure he was prepared for anything that might come his way. 
with everything packed and ready, he went to bed that night with a sense of excitement and anticipation. Jack was ready to start planting. He gathered the seeds and carefully placed them into the soil. With each seed he prayed for the success of his crop. He worked diligently, covering each seed with dirt and patting it down with his hands. He was careful to ensure that each seed was planted in the right spot, so as to give it the best chance of success of success. He then watered the soil to ensure the seeds had enough moisture to germinate and grow. With each action, Jack felt a sense of hope and excitement knowing that soon, he would have a bountiful harvest. Jack knelt in the soil, his hands clasped together in prayer. He thanked the gods for the sun and the rain, for the soil and the plants, and for the opportunity to grow and harvest his own food. He asked for a good yield and a successful harvest. He prayed for patience and resilience as he waited for the plants to grow. He also asked for strength to face any difficulties that may arise. As he finished his prayer, he felt a sense of peace and hope that his hard work would be rewarded. The waiting game was a difficult one for Jack. He had done all that he could to ensure the success of his crop, but he was now at the mercy of the elements. He had to hope that the sun would shine and the rain would fall in just the right amounts. He had to hope that the soil would be fertile and the pests would stay away. He had to wait and see if his hard work would pay off. He was anxious and excited but he was also patient. He knew that he could not rush nature, and he was determined to wait it out, 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 rush nature. The sun shone brightly on the garden as Jack watched with anticipation. A few days had passed since he planted the magical beans, and he was eager to witness their transformation. He had worked hard to prepare the soil and nurture the crop, and he hoped that his efforts would be rewarded. As he waited, Jack noticed a few changes in the garden. Plants were growing rapidly, and the leaves were beginning to take on a deep green hue. He could feel the magic in the air, and his excitement grew with each passing moment. He knew that something special was about to happen, and he couldn't wait to find out what it was. Jack was amazed by the transformation of the garden. He had expected to find a few weeds, but instead he was greeted with a lush and vibrant landscape. As he explored the garden, he came across a large and mysterious tree. He was surprised to find a small door hidden in the trunk of the tree, and with a little bit of curiosity, he opened it in the trunk of the tree acidity. He opened it. Inside, he discovered a beautiful and mysterious world filled with magical creatures and plants. He was in awe of the beauty and the potential of what he had found. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update from us. We'll be bringing you more exciting stories and videos like this one. See you next time.